it's a long. If you guys have seen my re my other long limit mod investigation videos, this landscape may seem somewhat familiar to you, as it is the spawn on the seed that I'm using. But if I press F3 here, you'll see that I'm actually 68,719,476,736 blocks away, or exactly 2 to the 36 blocks out. What you guys are seeing is actually the spawn chunk glitch, which was found in the old beta versions at every multiple of 2 to the 19th blocks out, and is found in this mod at 2 to the 36 blocks out and all multiples of it. So, so what is going on here exactly? Before before I really get into the explanation, uh, and I will actually mention a few things that have ch you know, have changed, a few ways in which the glitch manifests differently here than in beta than in beta 1.7. For instance, the, for instance, here, the biome data is actually copied from the spawn chunks as well, not just the block data. So, and that's because in the Anvil format, which has been used since 1.2, the biomes are actually stored with the chunks instead of being dynamic, dynamically calculated to seed. And the, and the glitch actually starts a little bit before 2 to the 36, whereas in the Whereas in the beta versions, it would start at the multiples of 2 to the 19th exactly. Alright, so now that that's out of the way, let's hop into it. So, so what happens here is that when we reach a glitch spawn chunk, and the, the coordinates of the chunk in memory overflow and revert back to the original spawn point, which is, all the, which is always in memory. Note that the actual chunk generation, in, in in vanilla and in, including in the old beta versions, supports up to it's up to thirty up to thirty four point three five nine billion blocks. It is, uses two distinct thirty two bit integers for chunk coordinates, and in this and this mod upgrades it to sixty four bit integers, which would actually support up to like one hundred forty up to one hundred forty seven point five seven three quintillion blocks. Thanks. Now, and and the same goes for the court for the ch for the chunk coordinates that are saved. However, the chunk coordinates stored in memory are, are actually stored in in one and in this case 64-bit integer with 32 bits allocated to the x coordinate and 32 bits allocated to the z coordinate. So the first 32 bits are allocated to the x coordinate, most likely, and the last 30, and the other 32 to the z. In beta, in the beta versions, and the in a 32-bit total of the chunk coordinates was used, was with 15 bits for the x and z coordinates, and I have no idea what they would have done with the other two bits. But anyway, for instance, my chunk coordinate, the coordinates of the chunk I'm in right now, oh, uh, let's see, 64 bit, the x coordinate. That was just something that went off the computer. Anyway, the x coordinate of the chunk I'm in right now is about 68,719,476,567 divided by 16. And it rounded down is about 100 minus 176 is, is 11, 4 billion, 284 million, 967,285. And the z coordinate of the chunk I'm in right now is 22. So, so, in, so while that would be stored, as as 32 in the save as like 32 zeros and then another 28 one and followed by zero followed by zero one followed by zero one zero one and then many and then and 59 zeros followed by followed by one Zero one one zero. In memory, it would actually be just twenty just twenty eight ones followed by zero one zero one. Then there then just twenty seven zeros. Then one zero one one zero. So that's what sort of what's going on here. And the same would apply in the beta versions, but with fifteen bits for each chunk coordinate instead of. 
So, when the x-coordinate of the chunk reaches to the 32, it overflows and becomes zero, which is why we see the spawn chunk again. And note once again that this only applies to the chunk data in memory and not in the save or in the actual generation. Yeah. And to finish things off here, if we make a little change in the in the glitch spawn chunk area. Let's see how well I can let's see how well I can build a small house without it taking up much a lot of the video. Let's see how I can build a small house without taking it out Anyway, if I change anything in this in the glitch spawn chunk area, you see something pretty strange at first. Well, we right there. Or actually, I don't even need to finish the house to we're building here to show this. Let's head back. Now let's teleport back to now after we're done here a little bit. Let's teleport back to spawn. So let's head back, so let's head to slash tp, or actually, let's get, actually, let's hit escape and get out of here. Slash so tp, negative 17, 100, and then, what was my z coordinate? Sp, negative 17, 100, 185. The changes I made in the glitch spawn chunk from 68.719 billion blocks out will appear back at spawn. Now, the, now, another difference here with beta is that when we teleport back to spawn, the chunks around the glitched area, instead of sticking to the glitched area, will actually be gradually replaced by the chunks fr from back at spawn. And like, the, like you can see here, that the river valley is broken up. These ocean chunks right here are actually material from 68.719 billion blocks out, and you can even see the outlines of the blocks that are really at spawn. And so loading in. Now the Z coordinate being in a different spot, being in a different position, being in a different position, and the, uh, there's an van line trap down there. Not sure if it's in the glitch chunks or in the field spawn area. But I actually believe that the glitch chunks might look, slight, look might look different when traveling on the z-axis because the z-axis is stored after the x-axis in this in the in the in the 64-bit total of the chunk coordinates in memory, and that's actually pretty similar to the cause of the lighting breakdown in modern version at at 2 to 25. It uses it it stores all the x, y, and z coordinates in a single 64-bit integer in much the same way as the chunk coordinates in memory here. So yeah guys. That's about all that's yeah guys, that's about all I've got for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell and click on all for all notifications. And goodbye.